Hi there, I'm Luke Bordewai, author of Cognitive Productivity, Using Knowledge to Become Profoundly Effective. Brett Terpspraw is a contributor to this screencast. This screencast illustrates a powerful delving technique using PDF Pen Pro, that is, creating tables of content. Often, creators of PDF documents don't bother to create a table of contents for you, let alone one that is hyperlinked in the sidebar. If you intend to delve deeply into a document, that's okay because using PDF Pen Pro, you can create your own table of contents while reading it. Doing this can help you understand the structure of the document. Outlining is, in fact, a proven learning strategy. And once you create a table of contents, you'll be able to quickly navigate the document while knowing your way around it. We're currently looking at the thumbnails on the left. Now let's see if this document has a table of contents. And uh, lo and behold, it doesn't because it's just a sample, whereas the real book does. Um, that's okay because we can create our own. All we need to do is select a header, go to the edit menu, and select the appropriate command from table of contents, which is add entry here because we're dealing with the top level. And there's level um, chapter 12 has appeared up there. Now I'm selecting a subsection, so instead of doing add entry, I'm going to select add child. And as you can see, a child has appeared below section 12, which is what we want. Now I'm continuing to skim this document, basically superficially reading it at this point. Now notice that I accidentally unselected a table of content entry. So if I was to simply add a table of content entry now, it would show up at the same level as section 12, which is not what I want. Therefore, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move it over. I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut this time, which is command right hour, arrow. And there it is. Okay, So I can continue to skim this document, getting an idea of the document structure while I go along. Now, if I wanted to go into a fair amount of detail here, I could actually construct subsections in my table of contents that are in line, so they're not numbered paragraphs here. And I use add child this time. Now I'm going to add an entry. And oh, here's a figure. Might want to capture that. I didn't capture the previous one, but I can always come back to it if I want. Okay. So I'm getting an idea here that uh, there's quite a lot being said about different types of tagging, which must have something to do with. Uh, with annotations. Okay, now I'm at 12.4 at this point, and if I wanted to add an entry, I'd actually add a an ant this time, right? Which is basically a sibling to 12.3. So there we go. Might add another section here. Oops, this didn't show up in the right spot, of course. So I will drag and drop it here. Notice that you can move it around with your mouse. And you can go along and um, annotate this to your heart's content. So this, again, is going to be an ant of the currently selected section. So Command Shift, left arrow will put it in the right spot. So here's what the document looks like with the complete table of contents. So as you can see, you can conveniently navigate it. Um, and also, you've got a pretty good idea of what the document's about. And you can see, for instance, that uh, it deals not only with delving PDF files, but ebooks and audiobooks and uh, multimedia, which is something that I will illustrate in a future screencast. Obviously, you won't go into this kind of detail for everything that you read. But this is helpful for important knowledge that you really want to master. As it happens, this chapter that we're outlining here is all about delving, so it is worth the effort, because developing good reading habits with electronic documents is essential for understanding and using knowledge gems.